All right, so uh, we'll be looking at what the concepts, we're still looking at the concepts of wounds. So we'll be defining somewhat terminologies that are so important in this concept. Uh, we'll be looking at what, what is known as bruise, we'll looking at what is known as contusion, and we'll looking at what is known as what hematoma. Right, so basically just definition of bruise, contusion, and hematoma to be a brief lecture. It's an example of a bruise. A bruise is like something is just like trying to like just wipe off the surface or the superficial epithelium. You understand? So say that bruise, this occurs when there's a blunt trauma. Alright? So nothing is piercing you, nothing was just blunt. It could be that maybe you rub your skin against a wall or something hit you, but that thing was definitely blunt. Nothing pierced into you, all right? But there are some damages of tissues and it's kind of like showing up as a red patch, okay? So say that there's blunt trauma and there's bleeding into tissues, giving rise to what? Echimosis, which is what? Discoloration. So if the bleeding is, if the bleeding is much, that's like collection of blood, that's when we say that what? There's a hematoma, all right? We have a definition of hematoma here. You guys should get to say it. Right. So treatment now. Uh, watchful waiting with complete resolution is usually the key. Alternatives are needle aspiration immediately before the blood clot, or several days later when the hematoma liquefies for what small hematoma. So we're basically talking about what treatment for bruise and hematoma right now. So large hematomas are or those occurring intracranially should be evacuated by a borehole that's an open surgery with antibiotic cover traumatic fat necrosis can occur following blunt injury as in breast masquerading lumps all right so moving now to quickly talk about the differences between contusion and hematoma since we are done with bruise now we see that in contusion uh it's usually not significantly damaged okay so blood collection is absent or minimal Discoloration may be sore. So in this one now, there's what? Damaged blood vessels, blood collects in tissues causing swelling. Swelling may be discolored and painful, all right? So you see the differences. So go to the definition now. You see that in condition, there's a region of injured tissue or skin in which blood capillaries has been ruptured. So contusion is more of like a bruise. So like a bruise now, if the blood vessels are being ruptured at small, it leads to contusion. If there's more rupture leading to more collection of blood now, it leads to what is known as hematoma. So one thing leads to one thing. So hematoma also spared hematoma with an A or blood suffusion is a localized bleeding outside the blood vessels due to either disease or trauma, including injury or surgery. Okay? And it may involve blood continuing to seep from broken capillary okay so you have what an accumulation of what blood so blood is seeping from these blood vessels and being piled up here being piled up here so you see that hematoma is an accumulation of blood outside of the blood vessels that is generally formed by a rupture in the blood vessel wall okay so that's it about what the differences between bruise contusion and hematoma See you guys.